Legal counsel for National Assembly Speaker Nosipuwa Mapisa Ngakula says her arrest would undermine the innocent until proven guilty principle. The speaker seeking to interdict the state from effecting her arrest. This amid corruption allegations leveled against her during her tenure as defense minister. Judge Sule Potterell heard the matter, however probed her counsel on whether persons should not be arrested simply based on this principle. Advocate Graham Kerr Phillips, however, added that on the merits of this case, it would be an infringement on the, of the principle. Nosifu Yama Special Advisor Mike Ramagoma joins us live now for a discussion. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramagoma, for, for your time this evening. Let's just start with your reaction to the proceedings today. Uh, thank you very much, Rangi, and, uh, and good afternoon to the listeners. I think that um, uh, at least today what we got was uh, our hearing uh, with the judge. We had said that we have con full confidence in the, in the judicial system, and including the justice system of our country, and that we'll be given a hearing and we can ventilate our case. That is what happens. Um, as you know, the, the 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 case has been heard. It has not been dismissed um, outright, and the judge has said that um, it merits a, a, a particular consideration, and then she will apply her mind and be able to give us a decision on Tuesday. In any event, our point has been to say uh, that is the time when our our uh, sorry the, the speakers attorney will be available for whatever meeting. Um, warning statement or arraignment if it is necessary uh, and we're happy that um, we, we will be able to deal with this matter at a time when our attorneys have been able from the other case that is engaged in endeavor. And speaking to um, a, a legal analyst earlier on, he says that he actually agrees with the NPA because they made the argument uh, that they do not believe that, you know, matters should be arranged, particularly if it's not at a trial stage, to the convenience of an attorney. It's, and they say that for them, this is quite unprecedented, that they have to work around, you know, his schedule. And an, an analyst, a legal analyst earlier on saying that this is in fact something that he agrees with. Look, I think that um, uh, it depends on, 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 on what argument you make, what, what legal argument you make. Because what you are dealing with here is, is, is to say uh, any person must be able to, to have a right to representation by an attorney or a legal counsel of their choice. Now, if that counsel is not available, you then say, can it, because this, remember, this was not a matter of, a, of, of her being arrested and, 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 and having to, 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 to get representation. There was a discussion between the two, between the two parties. Hmm. And we were saying, can the matter then be dealt with on the basis of the, the availability and consideration of, uh, of, 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 of matters that, people, uh, that the both parties are already engaged in? And reasonably, it was said that um, the, the Fed would be a, a, a suitable date for us. They never said that it was not for them. They never argued that the Fed was not suitable for them. They have not said why the Fed was not a, was not a, a, a reasonable date for them. Simply to say, uh, because each time one will ask them, will you want to arrest? Then they say, oh, no, only, not today. So they, they, the fact that they were keeping on playing games is what made us to, and to end up having to come to court to understand whether, whether she's got recourse in order, to, in, order, in, in order to be protected by the law. So, Mr. Ramakoma, let, let, me, let me see if I hear you correctly, because when I was listening to the NPA, they say that um, they never gave an undertaking when they were asked um, by the attorney as to whether or not they, you know, can they guarantee that she will not be arrested when they've asked her to present herself with her attorney. And the NPA is saying that they did not give an undertaking in that particular regard, but simply just said, show up. And then they continue to give various dates of how they were dealing with this particular matter. So you are saying, in fact, they were playing hide and seek with you. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's exactly the point. They never gave an undertaking. We asked them for such an undertaking. They refused to give it um, uh, because we had said that our attorney is going to be available on the set. Uh, she will need to have an attorney available in order for, for, for us to have any engagement, any meetings, any, any warning statements. The, 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 the fact that they are saying they, they did not give any undertaking is the reason why we're in court. Mm. Because, because what is the reason why they wouldn't give such an undertaking? I mean, in court today, the, for the first time, they say, no, 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 there are not any plans for an arrest. Um, 
And if we did not come here, they, they tell the media that there's imminent arrest. The media reports on it. We must defend ourselves when we go to them to ask. They refuse to respond and make an undertaking. They are playing games. They say that they, they did not leak any information to the media. They though. did. Who, who, who leaked the information uh, about the entire statement of, 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 a, of a witness, in, uh, uh, which has uh, Section 204? Mm. Who would do that? Certainly not us. It's them. So... They also, you know, of course, made the argument in court that the speaker should not be treated uh, more special than any ordinary South African who would have to deal with the criminal justice system and go through this particular process. How is the speaker doing right now? First and foremost, they're the ones who are treating us uh, uh, indifferent uh, uh, and, and different from any other South African because they deal with her rights as if they don't, they don't all the rights that all South Africans have don't apply to her. She is okay. Um, she's holding strong, but as you can uh, 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 understand, this is not easy for her. But she's got confidence in the case. She has declared her innocence, and she's got confidence in her legality. Is she still willing to hand herself over should it come to that? She will come to that by all means, yes. She will respect the South African legal process.